And perhaps one of the craziest days uh, in trade deadline history, there was a record, according, I think it was Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter pointing it out, that there was a record 10 trades today. Yes, Calvin Ridley going over to the Jaguars. Uh, yes, Bradley Chubb going over to the Dolphins. And we could go on and on for days, or you guys could just check out our recap of our uh, our live stream for the trade NFL de- or the NFL trade deadline. Make sure you guys go check that out. But for today... The trade for TJ Hawkinson is huge for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, And so we will bring you to uh, kind of from the latest uh, from guys like Adam Schefter and company. So, yes, we get the cats kind of out of the bag now, but uh, I am just bringing it up here. I apologize. Here we go. So Adam Schefter trade. Detroit is dealing tight end TJ Hawkinson in its division to the Minnesota Vikings per source. Okay, you love to see that. Uh, Yes, makes you really excited. What makes you even more excited, truthfully, is, uh, yes, the trade compensation. I think that's what really got me excited. So Adam Schefter, again, uh, trade term, sources tell ESPN. So the Vikings will get Hawkinson, a 2023 fourth-round pick, and a conditional 2024 fourth-round pick. And the Lions will get a 2023 second-round pick and a 2024 third round pick. So a second and a third and two fourths for the Vikings. So basically, the Vikings get TJ Hawkinson a potentially two fourths and the Lions get a second and a third. Like, I'm no math magician, but I really felt like, yes, I know TJ Hawkinson has had a little bit of an injury history, but when he's on the field, he's just a dangerous player. So uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to come out and say, it. yeah, the, the the Lions got took on this one. Like uh, Kwesi Adolfo Minson company, great job. Uh, it's going to be very huge for the Vikings. So you see here uh, his four years with the Detroit Lions, uh, over 180 all-purpose, well, 180 catches, 2,068 receiving yards and 15 touchdowns. You know, really did have that breakout and Pro Bowl year in 2020. Uh, 67 catches, 723 yards and six touchdowns. But I really believe that this trade is huge for another reason, especially when you take a look at the Vikings depth chart for the first and second teams here so Johnny Munt I love Johnny Munt I think he's a great blocker but I also think that it gets a little rough uh, especially when you consider the fact that this man he is not a number one tight end we've seen him drop too many passes yes he can he can go ahead and uh, lead the way on some blocks which I don't have a problem with but honestly TJ Hawkinson I love to see it I, I think he fits in there uh, more naturally as that tight end number one and if I'm being perfectly honest with you I really do feel like the Irv Smith Jr. day in Minnesota, it's kind of over. Like, it's just, yes, I know he'll probably be back for the playoffs. I think he's set to miss like eight to 10 weeks, but the writing's kind of on the wall. TJ Hawkinson is going to be that guy, plus the Vikings get him for another year, which I think he's set to make. Uh, so this year, I think it's like you know, have to pay his salary of like 563000 uh, but the next year, it's going to be uh, with the fifth year option, nine point some odd million, which, I mean, Yes, uh, that's a little bit much for a tight end, but if he's healthy and if he's in this offense with Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, just in this offensive line that's finally been doing work. Like, it's just, uh, even though Ed Ingram, uh, we'll see what happens. But overall, this is a huge trade for the Minnesota Vikings. Truly, This team really just needed a tight end that could catch the football and be a little bit more dangerous than what Johnny Munt could offer. So I'm excited for Hawkinson. I'm excited for the Vikings. And I really feel like this is going to be a huge trade for the Vikings down the line. I do think this could be a potentially, they could look back on this and say that this could uh, potentially make their offense even more dangerous and really put them over the top. But we will have to see. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. Uh, We love every single one of you. You. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the TJ Hawkinson trade for the Minnesota Vikings and how it could be absolutely huge.